Hello again. I had a request a while back asking for some information on stopping volume. Now stopping volume is a sign of strength, a sign of potential strength for the future in a market. It's named stopping volume because sufficient volume emerges from the market to stop a downtrend. Generally it stops it and kicks it sideways into a trading range or accumulation zone, absorption zone. Uh, sometimes though, it is sufficiently strong, uh, usually on a very bad news event, where a recovery takes place and an uptrend starts almost immediately. Now, when we say sufficient volume, we think about volume in a few different ways. Uh, we can look at volume as activity, the amount of activity that happened in a certain time period. We can look at volume as effort, when we look at effort versus reward. And we can look at volume as force. And in this case, stopping volume, we're thinking about volume as force. There's enough force being exerted by the market to stop a downtrend and kick the market sideways. Now, a downtrend is very strong. It builds strength as it moves lower and it can be very difficult to turn. So it needs to be sufficient volume to break that downtrend using enough force to push it sideways. You can see on this chart here, we have a month long downtrend. This bar here has come in with increased volume. It's the highest volume for quite some time. and the market's been kicked sideways and then started to make some ground higher. Now, in this case, you can see that some supply has come in. There's probably a need to accumulate further. The market's been brought down. It's tested alongside this bar before price has accelerated away. Now, another example This is the Australian Metals and Mining Index weekly. And you can see this bar here came in on very high volume, much higher than all the recent volume. It closed in the middle. And well, the next bar actually here included quite a lot of buying as well, to be honest. But in this case, the market only went sideways for a few bars, five bars, and then really it started to accelerate away. And another example, because they all come in all shapes and sizes, this is the US dollar index. Now, first thing you need to be aware of in this chart is that there's a three monthly contract rollover. And these high volumes that I'm arrowing were the contract rollover and on market volume wasn't that high those days, that's the contract rollover. But anything in between that's high is traded volume. Now this is a weekly chart and up here is January 18. And this is January 19, one year later. So this is a year long downtrend. You can see that there's been a couple of attempts to support the market. You can see here, there's an attempt to support the market. Even across here, a little one there, but they've failed. It's really hard to stop a downtrend once it's in place. But here, quite a lot of volumes come in. This was the selling volume at the highs. There was an attempt here to support the market, and that was a decent attempt, but eventually it failed. And now here, we have a really a stronger chance to support the market, or a secondary chance. And you can see it knocked price sideways. And this is 
a real traditional looking accumulation zone, a sideways trading range. And if you apply my trade back above the high line, you would have watched the market accumulate for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 weeks, 3 months, almost the textbook period for an accumulation zone, 3 months. And you wouldn't have entered until here on an increase of volume, which is a lovely breakout bar, breakout from a range. You can see that the volume has come in sufficient to stop the downtrend and start a accumulation. And then price has accelerated away. And it's actually accelerated right up to about here because that's where we are now. And this is only a year ago. And it really hasn't, let's have a look. It really hasn't. Yeah. So we've been up to 100, just over, well, 104, but that was a spike. So you can see the stopping volume came in, knocked the price sideways, it accumulated for a period, and then accelerated away. And perhaps we'll go and have a look at the daily, because the weekly chart is so much clearer. If you can work with weekly charts and trade off the daily, you'd be so much better off. So we'll flip to the daily, go back and find it. We might need some more bars to find it. I oh, know that's pretty obvious. I imagine I think it was a long downtrend. And you can see here was the weekly level we looked at. Let me just check. No, that was true volume. That wasn't a rollover day. That's a very high volume for traded volume. Look how high it is compared to the others. Um, rollover is always mid-month. So I guess this was one here, 14th of December. That's right. So that's true, true volume, traded volume. That's high, very high. So. If you looked at this, these two bars together, and you drew it like this, and closing where that one enclosed, you can almost consider that as a single bar. Those two bars together, price rammed down and then recovered to close almost in the middle or just a bit above the middle on very, very high volume. And you can see that roughly from here across, is where the market has consolidated. Whenever it's popped above this line, it's been unsupported, sold back down. What effectively happens is the market buys, consolidates, bids it up, and that's buying the offer if you like, and then fades it down. Bides the offer, fades it down. Buy the offer, fades it down. Buy the offer, Fade it down. This is like the shakeout at the end of a range here. By the offer, a final, well, it actually went like that before it accelerates out. This is a classic textbook style accumulation. The key weekly level was here. So you possibly would have bought whatever that bar was, uh, we'll check it. Yeah. You probably would have bought that bar because you've had a push up to the line, a little test. You would have been a bit concerned on this bar here, wondering whether the market was gonna come back down to test the breakout before it accelerated away. But as it turns out, it was an absorption bar and price just moved away almost immediately. And you can see when the market meets supply from over here, 
it goes through a period where it has to absorb the supply on the left before it takes off again. And that's what's happening here. Price spent some time. You can almost call that bullish absorption. It's not a great example, but you could. Anyway, that's stopping volume. It's sufficient volume emerges from the market to stop a downtrend. And generally, the market will be knocked sideways in response. And it will accumulate during that period because it's normally at a low. And then once it, there's been an accumulation and sufficient stock has been bought, price moves away in response. Okay, thank you. See ya.